Welcome back to another Big Z Sports presentation of our two-a-days. Thanks to Claxton Communications, we are out here at West Holmes for the preview between the West Holmes Knights and the Indian Valley Braves. I'm Joe Geckler, along with Indian Valley insider Shannon Thomas, and uh, we call him all night long. But Shannon Thomas joins us here to talk a little bit about the Indian Valley Braves. And Shannon, the Indian Valley Braves, um, they are uh, gearing up for another good season, had a great season last year, a lot of unfortunate circumstances circumstances with the whole COVID situation with them going into the playoffs. But uh, let's talk about and recap their season a little bit from 2020 as they finished up 5-5. Five and five. Uh, You know, obviously got bounced out of the playoffs due to the COVID issues. But, uh, you know, Matt Lancaster and this staff has these guys ready to go this year. Yeah, you know, last year the season didn't end the way they wanted to. They, they come out with a big win when they opened the new stadium against Buckeye Trail. We had to deal with the weather, you know, that Friday night. And then uh, we come back and play them on Saturday. And then, you know, then they run into Sandy Valley, Ridgewood, and Garraway. You know, the strength <laughs> of the IVC last year. That gauntlet in the south. The right? gauntlet in the south. I mean, that south is hard hitting every week. And then uh, the downfall was is in Buckeye Trail game, they lost Shane Thornton. That, you know, they were expecting big things from him last year. And when they lost him, you know, a lot of kids had to step up. And that's kind of what happened at Sandy Valley game. You know, a couple kids were making mistakes and weren't used to being in certain positions. Uh, they put some points on the board, but they just they didn't really have an answer for Sandy Valley. You know, they were kind of just – they were sluggish in that game is what it looked like. Sure. You know, then they come back and they played decent against Garraway. They were tied 13-13 with Garraway at halftime. And the boys let it slip away in the third quarter, and Garraway got that momentum. And then uh, then they get down to Ridgewood. You know, and, and they played Ridgewood tough in the first half. You know, they had two bad snaps over the punter's head, and they gave Gabe Tangle and his offense the football inside the 20-yard line twice. You're not going to do that with Gabe Tangle and John Slusser's offense. You know, they was able to capitalize. Defense stepped up, and they forced some Ridgewood punts. And then, uh, But in the end of the day, you know, Ridgewood is Ridgewood. They came out on top, which everybody expected Ridgewood to have the season they did last year, and they did. And so, sure. you know, Indian Valley struggled with them. Well, if you look at uh, the schedule and look how the season went for Indian Valley, they also uh, lost some key players last year off of last year's team. Mason Love, Shane Thornton, Kent Shootball, and Andrix Bowersox are some names that come to mind for me. Um, you know, they are they're going to be missed, and, of course, they brought a lot of talent to this team, but uh, they have a lot of talent coming back this year. Yeah, you know, they're still a very young team. They're going to play a lot of juniors, a lot of seniors this year. You know, last year's team, they had some talented kids. You know, they, they lost – Two linemen right off the get-go that come to mind for me. You know, J.D. Lancaster stepped in and played center. J.D. was a quiet leader on that field, but J.D. was a very good football player. And then they, they lost a, a, a real good lineman in Blake Lehigh. Yeah. You know, so now they got to replace Blake Lehigh, J.D. Lancaster. Uh, Andrick Bowersox last year, to me, really stepped up when Shane Thornton went down. Yeah. They wasn't sure who was going to fill that, and Bowersox did a great job. Uh, they're going to miss Kent Shoeball on defense. Yeah. Kent Shoeball on defense, he flew all over that field, you know. And those guys, you know, they got guys that can replace them. It's time for these young kids to step up, and we'll, we're going to see who's going to fill that gap. For sure. Now, 2021, you look at some of the guys coming back for the Indian Valley Braves. You have sophomore quarterback Sam Carter. You have uh, Gavin Henry, senior running back, had to sit out uh, the second half of the season last year due to the transfer rule. And then also you have senior wide receiver Trevor Myers. It seemed like there's been a Myers kid here for the last 15 years. So Trevor's finally a senior. I remember back when he was a freshman on those uh, teams with Cade Williams and Caden Hosteller. But Trevor Myers is back. And, of course, uh, a name that you know very well, sophomore wide receiver defensive back Colton. Thomas yeah you know they got some good guys coming back and, the, and they're all young and uh the correct Chris's paperwork here uh <laughs> Gavin Henry is only a junior yeah yeah you know okay and then you know they also got yeah you got Caleb Wells coming back on defense they got okay. Rylan Merton coming back on defense but another a kid that I look to step up big time this year is going to be Cole Lancaster Cole Lancaster is going to move to the backfield that's where he played in middle school okay. and he's a brute you know Cole reminds me a lot of the way Jake Davis used to run Colt's got speed. He can get down the field. But Cole also likes he likes to punish somebody. So sure. sometimes instead of stepping around that <laughs> defensive player, Cole kind of lowers his body and see if he can get lower and run him into the ground, you know. And then, and then a couple of the younger kids, I, I look to make an impact this year. Two kids pop out at me real quick after these scrimmages, maybe three. Uh, sophomore Tyson Pryor. Tyson Pryor. Basketball player. Basketball player. Everybody knows him from basketball. But Tyson stepped up here these last couple weeks in scrimmages at a midnight hit. And he and he's going. He's he's trying to find a spot on that offense, and and I think he's going to get there. Uh, another kid by the name of Landon Green. I okay. look for Landon Green to make his way on that defensive line. He's only a sophomore. He plays with a mean streak. 
and uh, he he's he showed a lot of improvement. But then you got a couple other kids, you know, I'm looking to see uh, Kale Coachman and uh, Austin Bear. They both have fought injuries the last couple years. Uh, Austin's a senior. Uh, Kale, I believe, is a junior. But they both right now are healthy, it looks to be, and they both had a, a good scrimmage last week against Fairless. I mean, there is the talent there to replace these kids that's left, but they're all kind of moving into different positions. Sure. And, you know, see where we go. And then for the offensive line, you know, they got a kid in Brendan Hughes. He played a lot last year, looked real well. Uh, got Joe Reynolds back, and then a name everybody's familiar with around here is Anderson. You know, Cameron Anderson, we like to call him Cam. Long list of his brothers played in Indian Valley. Yep. His brother Brandon's on the coaching staff. I believe Brandon was an all Ohioan offensive lineman. So, you know, like I said, the players are there. It's just time for everybody to find their, their act, figure out what they got to do, step up, and we'll see how the season goes. For sure. And if you look at that schedule, these guys are going to have to step up pretty quick. The schedule is uh, – Pretty rough to start off the uh, the non-conference schedule, so to speak, for the Indian Valley Braves. They're at Beaver, uh, Beaver Local, Akron, Manchester's week two. And then they uh, they welcome in a team by the name of the Dover Tornadoes in week number three. So the, the three non-conference games for Indian Valley is as tough as it gets. Yeah, I, I don't know a whole lot about Beaver Local, only what I've read online. I know they lost their quarterback from last year, and they lost some offensive linemen. But from my understanding, their tailback was a state champion in 100-meter dash. I'm, you know, I can't confirm that. That's kind of what I read on some other, you know, stuff. Uh, Acker Manchester. Always that, a war. <laughs> that, that is just as big a rival with Indian Valley as the Claymont game. You know, that, it'll be a hard-hitting game. You know, a couple years ago when Cade Williams was a senior, we lost some, you know, serious injuries in that game. You know, sure. Carson Hartrick was out for yep. a while, and, but they got him back. And then, then he said Dover, you know. What can you say about Dover, but it's Dover. Sure. They're going to come in. They're going to spread the field. They're going to throw the ball. And I think in that game, any Valley defense has got to find a way to bring pressure. That way their corners and them can keep cover. You know, and then the offense, the offense has got to get rolling. You know, so we'll see what happens after you get through those three and – then, then you get into the for sure. The then, gauntlet. It, then if you look at the uh, the crossover games for the IBC, you have Newcomers Town and you have at Buckeye Trail, so a rematch from last year's game. Uh, but then you get into the gauntlet, like you said, and it starts off at week six, seven, and eight. You're at Sandy Valley, you're at Garraway, and then you have Ridgewood at home. So uh, those three games are going to uh, really be the telltale sign, I think, of the uh, Indian Valley Brave season. Yeah, you know. And that's kind of what I call your second season. You know, you sure. get you get through your non-conference stuff, and then it's time to get into your second season and go for that league title. I don't know much about Sandy Valley other than they lost Cam Blair yeah. and they, they lost uh, Demetrius, Demetrius Evans. Evans. Yep. You know, so I really don't know what they got back because I didn't really follow them a lot last year with me being a D and E Valley guy all the time. I do know what Garraway's got back. I do know what Garraway lost. Yeah. You know, and I know the same way with Ridgewood. And not to mention, all three of those teams are very well coached. Oh, yeah. So it don't matter what talent you bring to town, the coaching staff will make up for the talent that they lost. So it, you know, can't make no predictions on what's going to happen in those games because sure. because when you think you know what's going to happen in them games, there's a complete flip flop. So we're just looking to watch some good football in the IVC South. Absolutely, and of course, uh, our play-by-play -play schedule is uh, is out, and uh, you know, I'd like to, you know tell you and I'm sure you know already and tell our uh, viewers uh, our first play-by-play -play game of the year is going to be the Dover game in week number three so uh, Indian Valley Dover will be on our airwaves uh, with play-by-play -play. myself uh, Travis McClellan and we may have some other guy on the sidelines with us that's standing next to me but uh, you know we're going to have a lot of fun this year a lot of good games we have Indian Valley a couple of times uh, as our play-by-play -play game so uh, Shannon as always man thanks so much for doing what you do for us at Big Z Sports and doing such a great job and carrying that strap every year as we call it in the studio you are the man and uh, you know you have set that bar extremely high for our stringers and our insiders at each school but uh, we appreciate what you do and uh, all you have done for us the past five or six years you know i appreciate the opportunity that i get here you know i want to thank uh, coach mike lancaster uh, athletic director nick swaldo you know those guys give me full access to anything i want to do i've never had an issue with indian valley i can walk the whole sideline i can go to practices you know, basketball, softball, baseball, it, it don't matter what the sport is. You know, the Indian Valley community has supported me well, and 
you know, I'm, I'm glad to be able to show videos of their kids, you know, in action. Absolutely. Again, this has been our Indian Valley two-a-day preview right out here at West Holmes for their uh, preview. The two teams are going to be playing here tonight. So we appreciate Shannon stopping by and checking, uh, checking in with us about Indian Valley. And we'll see you next time around. For Shannon Thomas, I'm Joe Geckler. Thanks again, again, to Claxton Communications for helping us out with these previews. And we'll see you next time around.